after witnessing a crash on a smart motorway. Black Country businesswoman Claire Wetnall is campaigning for new vehicles to carry a safety kit by law. It was a couple of years ago, I was on the M6 heading north, I was going to see my mum um, on the smart motorway and I'd, I witnessed a, a crash um, and it really shook me up and I really had a what if moment. So what if it had been me? What if my children had been in the car? How would I keep them safe? What could I do that might make a difference? Claire's background in fire protection meant she always believed cars should carry fire extinguishers. But after witnessing the accident, believed a more specialist equipment kit could be needed. Well, it was all about what type of incidents are there. So I went and did a little research and then it was like, well, what would have happened if it was dark? If I'd have been injured? If my seatbelt had been jammed? How, how would I make a difference? What could I do to help? myself in that circumstance um, and that's how the vehicle safety kit came about really so it's a collection of different items that could help you in, in a crash. There's a small fire extinguisher in there, seat belt cutter in case your seat belt was stuck, a glass breaker, high-vis jacket, first aid kit, an air horn. Well it would appear that need for additional safety is needed. Smart motorways have seen 44 people fatalities over the last five years. Well I did a lot of research about it. I've discovered that every 20 minutes someone's seriously injured or killed um, on the motorways or on in the roads in the UK. Almost 100 vehicles go on fire every single day. The onboard vehicle safety is a requirement in other countries but not in the UK. So a lot of my research was why not, because it should be, and it's a requirement for a reason that it saves lives and it can make a difference of the outcome of crash. Well, just this Monday, Highways England has been given the green light to open 138 miles of all new lane running smart motorways. And despite continuing safety concerns, their advocates highlight that data shows they are safer or as safe as conventional motorways.